King Charles will not abdicate despite grueling cancer treatment, Charles Ray claims. King Charles will be glad to get home to resume cancer treatment after suffering a grueling tour of Australia and Samoa, it has been claimed. The King and Queen are returning to the UK after an 11-day tour of Australia and Samoa, which was met with protests from Republicans, including Victoria Senator Lydia Thorpe. King Charles took great strength from Queen Camilla during royal tour amid cancer treatment. King Charles and Queen Camilla have completed their royal tour of Australia and Samoa, which was an incredibly eventful trip. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. During their tour, the King was welcomed into the House of Pain, and Queen Camilla dished on her husband's unusual bedtime routine. Camilla also burst into tears when King Charles suggested he may not survive long enough to return to the region. But throughout it all, Queen Camilla reportedly remained a pillar of strength for King Charles. The King gets great strength from the Queen being there, not least because she keeps it real, a senior palace source told GB News. The source also said that Charles was enjoying being able to carry out a royal tour, calling it a great measure of the way that the king is dealing with his, cancer, diagnosis, and he's a great believer in mind, body and soul, and this combination works very well on a visit like this, because he feels that sense of duty so strongly. For King Charles, carrying out his duty as the British monarch is of the utmost importance, according to the outlet's royal source. It's hard to overstate the joy that he takes from duty and service and being in public and seeing those crowds engaging with communities across the spectrum, they explained. That really does lift his spirits. You can see that. Over the weekend, the king and queen attended a traditional Ava ceremony, which was held in the village of Siamu. There, Charles was given the honorary title of Toigo, O Tumua, and he gave a moving speech revealing just how much he'd enjoyed the royal tour. I shall always remain devoted to this part of the world and hope that I survive long enough to come back again and see you, King Charles said, via the Daily Mail. We shall take away with us, I promise you, very special memories of our time here. We thank you for our wonderful gifts. King Charles admits doctor's orders have halted lifelong wish amid cancer treatment. King Charles has told of his lifelong aspiration to visit all 56 countries in the Commonwealth, but joked how royal doctors were holding him back. Hosting a dinner of delegates from the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, CHOGM, in Samoa, Charles said his task had been made ever harder due to more countries joining the family of nations. In what was the only evening engagement of their nine-day visit to Australia and Samoa, the King and Queen Camilla embraced island life once more by dressing casually for the event at Robert Louis Stevenson's former home on the Pacific Island. On the royal's final night in the country which has embraced the couple, Charles spoke warmly of his affection for the family of nations, saying, the Commonwealth can surely be a source of hope. He added that while dark clouds gathered, International challenges required international solutions and that dialogue and discussio was the way to achieve peace. Amid growing calls for reparations for Britain's role in the slave trade, the King earlier in the day appeared to tackle the contentious issue by saying none of us can change the past. At the Chogm opening ceremony Charles urged world leaders to commit with all our hearts to learning its lessons while he urged every nation to understand each other's history to guide us to make the right choices in the future. In a personal and heartfelt address, Charles also revealed how he had come to recognize, through listening to people across the 56 represented nations how the most painful aspects of our past continue to resonate. In his landmark speech he said, as we look around the world and consider its many deeply concerning challenges, let us choose within our Commonwealth family the language of community and respect, and reject the language of division. None of us can change the past. But we can commit, with all our hearts to learning its lessons and to finding creative ways to right inequalities that endure. Charles, 
who has been undergoing weekly treatment for cancer after being diagnosed in February, also assured those gathered that he would continue his duties in representing them for as long as he is able. He added, For my part, I can assure you today that for however many years God grants me, I will join you and the people of the Commonwealth on every step of this journey. Let us learn from the lessons of the past. Let us be proud of who we are today. And together, let us forge a future of harmony with nature, and between ourselves, that our children, and our grandchildren deserve. At the evening dinner the king, said that he had first come to Samoa in the 1970s on board HMS Jupiter, he said revealed how unbelievably old I am. He also spoke of the joy of returning to Samoa to deepen his understanding of the country and said that the singing by local performers at the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Summit earlier in the day had raised my spirits to the roof and made me feel unbelievable. King Charles preparing surprising plan for beloved royal residence. King Charles is preparing a surprising plan for his beloved royal residence. The royal family has filed plans with a local government council to open a nearly 300-person venue on the grounds of Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Balmoral is an estate that has been in the family for nearly 200 years, and has been opened to the public under the reign of King Charles. There are plans to turn the Queen's building, built in the 1980s for staff quarters and located just north of the main castle, into a venue, which could potentially include weddings. These plans were filed with the Aberdeenshire Council, seeking permission to use the building for weddings, dinners, meetings and other events. The application includes plans to use a large outdoor patio for events of up to 277 guests, host live performances and serve alcohol, until after midnight. The plans also insist music would be kept to a low level and that nobody would be disturbed. Changes to the layout would include making use of an outdoor patio for a further 144 guests. The move is the latest under King Charles to open the Balmoral Estate, the beloved summer home of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, where she spent her final days in 2022, to the public. The royals opened Balmoral Castle to extensive public tours for the first time in more than 170 years, and tickets sold out within 24 hours of going on sale, despite submitting plans to expand events and functions in one of its buildings, the King's Balmoral Estate, has said it currently has no plans to stage commercial weddings, according to the BBC. It is understood Balmoral, has had an appropriate license in place for more than 15 years to host weddings, events and functions should it wish, but there are no plans to do so commercially. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.